J Flight 267 bunkhouse with a super slide here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, coming in about 5,850 pounds as you see it here. This is an ideal option for folks who are either looking to get their first family camper, uh, looking for half ton towability, trying to get out of a pop up, something like that, and uh, with double the full coverage RV warranty here, it's even better for first timers with that extra assurance coverage and peace of mind that goes along with any Jayco product. Now the J-Flight SLX series tends to be very, very popular among first time RVers and you're really a big reason why I include extra footage like this because you may not realize it is not something that you necessarily need, but it is something that is very, very handy when the super slide is closed like it is right now. It is very easy to fully navigate this RV. You can get to all the sleeping, all the seating, all the storage, the bathroom and everything so that when you're getting the RV packed or if you need to stop while you're traveling and make a quick like bathroom or, or a sleeping break pit stop or sandwich stop, you can accomplish all of that here in this J Flight 267 at Halitz. One of my personal favorite qualities in the J Flight campers, and it was one of the significant reasons why I chose to go J Flight when I go camping, is the extra interior height. These are six foot nine tall inside, inside, inside. <laughs> it's, it's, it's early in the morning and I'm already jumbling my words. It's gonna be a great day, ladies and gentlemen, whatever. If that's the worst that we have happen today, we're doing all right. Don't sweat the small stuff, that's camping, man. So, they're taller inside. As opposed to a common six and a half foot tall ceiling, here we have a six foot nine ceiling. That means uh, you know more general headroom and space throughout. It also means bigger cabinets and bunks and a taller shower, which was a big deal for me. Now, what's kind of cool about these, and you're going to hear me talk about this over and over and over again, is not um, like this is the SLX series. This is kind of this is the well, you call it your basic or starter, but it's it's built constructed exactly like Big Brother full blown uh, J Flight. Um, but this is the smart money camping package. This is not the uh, over the top package. We have tried to put some smart features in here, like a nice looking uh, bedspread ensemble. Now this one in this video has this high to bed sleeper sofa right here. This is an optional piece of equipment. Not every single one of these will include that. Always, always please verify against our website what we have in stock. And short of that, it's even better. If like you're like, listen, I really like that camper. I want to come see it this weekend. But before you make that drive, call a sales contact here. One, it's nice to have an appointment set. But two, um, can you go out, look at that camper, make sure it's exactly like uh, it, it looks like in the pictures on your website. I want to make sure. Absolutely, we'll do that for you. This is a, this is a, a lot of money. We want to make sure you're doing it right. So standard, there's a bifold jackknife here. We've upgraded to a trifold. Um, in a bunkhouse, you probably don't need it but it, it's so much more comfortable to sit on. So that's why we are inclined to do this. I would love some feedback on this though. Do uh, you guys, do you like the upgrade to the trifold in a, in a little basic bunkhouse like this or is the bifold enough? I'd love some feedback. Now, uh, little detail stuff is gonna separate these and it's a lot of little things. And kind of my point here, it's not that the SLX is the J Flight minus stuff. It's that the J Flight is the SLX Plus stuff. All the core of the Jayco family is here. Like, we've still got nicer strutted overhead cabinet doors. You don't get that usually in an entry level product. Um, you know, pocket screwed cabinets to last longer, things like that. We've got the nicer pleated shades instead of uh, metal mini blinds. And these are like blackout shades if you want to blot the sun out here because it's you need privacy or if it's, you know, a hot day and you need the extra shade, you can do that. You also see that all the windows here are going to open for ventilation. Another neat thing on these, even here at their most basic level, Jayco's always have insulated slides and they always use the nicer double-sided thermofoil that I can't even express how uncommon this is. Even way up through the fifth wheel families of a lot of uh, RV brands, you don't tend to get insulated slide floors. That helps keep your air conditioning in, it helps keep the heat out in the summertime and also vice versa, you know, in the uh, uh, other weather extreme. That foil stuff isn't necessarily an insulator, it's a reflector and there is a difference in that. Um, the, uh, oh, air conditioner. So basic camper, but we still have centralized air instead of just a uh, a localized drop-in ac that only blows air from this location you do have vents that run the length of the camper to give you good airflow everywhere um you also have all led lighting in here now that has become more common but surprisingly despite the the cost of leds becoming far far more affordable some 
of your really cutthroat budget bargain brands still don't do LED interior lighting. That kind of boggles my mind a little bit right there. Um, you'll see that in the SLX series, uh, we're not going to find like a lot of floor vented heaters uh, because these are intended for spring, summer, fall camping. This is no Four Seasons monster by any stretch. That's what they leave like the Eagles and whatnot and Eagles, North Points, and Pinnacles for. But uh, in a family camper like this, getting rid of those floor vents makes a lot of sense. It's appropriate. There's benefits to both floor ducted and non-floor ducted heating. In the, in the style of trailer that we're currently standing, it makes more sense to do it this way because you're going to have a lot of foot traffic, a lot of kids, a lot of potential dirt getting tracked through from outside, or kids dropping M&Ms and God knows what other toys are thinking it's funny to drop them down the vents. Now we don't have heat vents to clean up. Isn't that nice? Now, uh, one thing I like to point out here on the uh, refrigerator is that these are a metallic faceplate, so they are magnet friendly. And that's a tiny detail, but it is a neat, smart detail for actual camping use because now you can use those magnetic, like, um, you know, potato chip bag clips to, to hook stuff onto the refrigerator. And anytime you can get two functions out of one space in an RV, you're going to come out ahead. Now, right next to the bunk area here, we've got this big closet. And we'll circle back and talk about this in just a minute. But these are adjustable, so if you need more or less closet space, you can accommodate that. Now, a big deal I like to talk about on Jayco's is their construction because they are built heavier. You know, I can certainly find you a less expensive, lighter weight travel trailer. You're going to have to probably give up some structure to get there. Um, case in point, their bunk mattresses are about double as thick as anybody else in this category. They use thicker, better bunk mats so that your kids sleep better and the kids love the little, it's called the teddy bear skin on these. Another neat thing on the Jayco's, and if uh, this is another good um, statistical indicator, a hard number you can sink your teeth into, is that their upper bunks are rated for 300 pounds per sleeping space. This is a double bunk, so that's a 600 pound rated bed. I've seen as low as 250 on a double bed, and that's terrible. Um, the, uh, remember also, this has a 400 pound cargo rating in transit. So you're thinking, why can you put less cargo on it? than when you're sleeping. Because when you're going down the road, the cargo bounces and it adds extra stress that while sleeping, even if a kid tosses and turns, it's not nearly as bad as potential bouncing heavy cargo back here in transit. Now, the lower people go, well, then what's the lower bunk rating? They don't even bother rating the lower bunk because there's so much more construction below it, it's just not an issue. Now, there is a big storage pocket below this, and you will see that you've actually got a nice little hinged finger pull right there if you do want to lift that up to try to get to something from inside. Over here, they go with what's called a split bathroom, where the sink you have a dedicated bathroom sink, so obviously you don't have to like wash your, your hands from the bathroom in the uh, you know kitchen sink. But what this lets you do is you can have one kid or yourself you know, using the bathroom, the shower, the whatever, and you can get the kids washed up, ready for the day, or ready for bed, or whatever, quicker, faster, easier. Now once again, that extra interior height really comes into play here, and this is, uh, again, one of the primary reasons why when I camp, I actually camp in a J-Flight SLX. Now, there's plenty of other awesome RVs. I, I've always believed, and I do truly, truly believe this, guys, every RV is the best for a different reason, even the ones we don't carry. I'm not one of these guys who says, if we don't carry it, it's got to be garbage. There are some brands I don't like, but I do understand their purpose. It, you know, they're, they're, that's, that's the difference between RVs. People say, which one's the best? They're all the best in different ways. This right here, in an entry-level type camper, this is an area where Jayco's the best. Their warranty is an area where they're the best. Their plywood roof and floor decking are areas where they're the best. They have a, one of the best structures available in this category. But I'm a tall guy. And I don't like ducking in the shower. It's just a thing with me. I've got a thing about it. Now I don't have to. But also notice, devil's in the details. And if that's the case, then this is one heck of a camper. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we've got a power vent fan in here. And a skylight. And shower surround paneling. And a foot flush toilet. Those are four ands. Not ors. And is better than or. You know? And gives you more or gives you less. And you get all of the things here in this Jayco. Now, um, we talked about how this is a trifold sleeper sofa. That can open up to create just this uh, big two adult sleeping space. And then over here, the dinette can also fold down for bonus sleeping capacity. But a nice little bonus feature on the dinette 
is the fact that th uh, those cushions can be removed and this thing can just convert into a big uh, storage space. There's storage below the, the, the seating bases, basically. Um, spinning around here, I want to talk about the entertainment center real quick. This is a recent update at the time of this filming. Uh, they went from just like a car stereo, basically, to a, 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 a Bluetooth DVD, or pardon me, not DVD, Bluetooth stereo with inside-outside speakers. So you do have dual speaker zones now that you didn't have before, but you also have an HDMI face-mounted input. So this is a basic entertainment system, but if you want to hook something up like a, a Blu-ray player, satellite, or whatever, because you, you actually do have a satellite prep jumper over here. You can plug that in the front of the HDMI uh, unit right here. And now if you notice, even at their basic level, Jayco's still including an HDMI wire. So not only is this HDMI capable, HD capable rather, high def, but you can actually get high def output if you choose to add a TV. TVs are optional in these SLXs. And we have found that most people shopping in this camper segment they're like, um, no, I, I, we're buying this because we want to be outside. We're, we're not buying this so we can sit inside and watch TV all day. And I fully respect that because that's my style of camping too. But I do understand that everybody camps different. So they give you the option if, if like you're looking for a, a simple streamlined trailer, but you do want to upgrade the entertainment, all of those options are here. A lot of people ask us, why don't you include the TV from the manufacturer? And the answer is because it'd be the most expensive TV you've ever seen in your life. And if we have to, I can go to the big box store across the street, we can buy the bracket, the TV, and we can pay a tech to install it for less. All of that is, all of that is true. But we've looked at a lot of good things here. But what does the kitchen have to offer, I wonder? The kitchen storage really starts over here in this J-Flight because you see a hanging closet rack there, but as we kind of talked about earlier, these are adjustable shelves, so you can really convert this to whatever it needs, and that can very well function as a big pantry for you, even if it's a combination pantry linen cabinet. Now, area for wastebasket is, is something that Jayco's gotten very good about, and a lot of brands have, but there are still some that don't include things like this. There's also still some that don't include things like nicer plywood full extension drawers uh, with the beveled top so you don't have a splinter factory going on. Now, right as we walk in, we've got a clutter-catching shoe garage, and really, I mean, in, an, in a way, your entertainment center could be a pantrytainment center <laughs> very easily. And also that taller ceiling, again, does allow for bigger, taller cabinets. And even here in the SLX level, these are all pocket-screwed cabinets to last longer. And we finish off the kitchen with a nicer thermal foil countertop, which has a sealed edge press membrane so that here in a high water exposure area, there's no seams that can soak up uh, water and, and cause sponging and water damage. Now, one of the benefits of a wood skeleton trailer, I kind of failed to mention when I was focusing on the kitchen, is the fact that a wood skeleton, uh, you know, traditionally constructed uh, studded trailer, allows for wall-mounted um, power outlets that you can't find in a lot of those laminated ultralight trailers because the walls are not thick enough to accommodate the wiring code for that. So that's a handy little factor right there. Now, up here, this is a very simple bedroom arrangement. There is storage below the bed, and it is easy lift, which is nice. And you can see we've got a simple shelf overhead, not a cabinet. Again, this isn't everything that matters, nothing that doesn't segment. You can still throw stuff up there. It's just not a cabinet. Um, you've got dual side stands and very large ones with household outlets so that if you do need to charge phones, run a CPAP, whatever, you're good to go. The bedspread series here, this actually is optional, but it's very nice, and it looks good. And, uh, you know, it costs not a lot, so hey, why not toss that in? Now, Another more recent update here is uh, these have been ready for TV hookups in the bedroom, but they never really made it easy to put a TV in the bedroom until now. You've got these new quick-release TV mounts, and what I like about these is if you choose to uh, add a TV to this camper, there's a matching quick-release hookup outside of the RV. you got a handy little lever button right there so it doesn't just fall off the wall that you can take this thing outside and you can have dual zone entertainment. You can have it outside during the day, put it in the bedroom at night when mom and dad are ready to crash. And in the case of like the bigger two slide 324 J Flight SLX bunkhouse, you'll find one of these uh, mounts in the bunk area as well. So we've talked about a lot of things like the heavier bunk ratings. And I mentioned the plywood roof and floor construction. I want to kind of circle back to that because 
all of those things come together to help Jayco's uh, achieve the status of having double the RV warranty of basically anything else out there. Not just a structural, but full coverage type warranty. Uh, you know, the Jayco warranty covers more things for longer, like your air conditioner, your water heater, you know, these expensive big uh, uh, appliances. They are covered year two on your Jayco warranty. They're not covered during those three year structural things. Now you also see how we've got a huge pass through compartment right there and you've got extra wide and extra tall baggage doors on both sides of that compartment for easier access. Um, you know, having a larger baggage door on the driver's side of the coach, which is where you tend to keep like your outdoor sewer related stuff, it's extremely handy. Now, uh, another structural thing that is really hard to see and appreciate on these Jayco's is the fact that every single Jayco, whether it's this or their biggest fifth wheel, they all ride on a custom engineered chassis. It's, it's uh, not the exact same chassis you can find just on any other brand. They are uh, made by the same company as other chassis, but they're made to Jayco specs. Jayco has them built differently. And one of the easiest areas you can see that is up front here, where they have a fully integrated A-frame on the front of these Jayco's. They, you know, it's not actually structurally superior in this regard. The twisting and stress of this versus a tacked on A-frame surprisingly are about the same. However, what this does for us is different because this allows for the RV to have a lower floor. So that means that this is taller inside without being taller outside, it due largely in part to that custom engineered chassis. Now, what are the other benefits? It also has a lower center of towing gravity, especially for boondockers who do carry a little bit of water in transit. Which by the way, if you're towing with no water, or if you're towing to a park, you probably don't need any water. If you put a little bit in, no big deal. Very rarely are most people going to tow with full fresh water tank, uh, because typically, and I know that there are some areas of the country, this is not true, but typically you're usually not any more than about 10 minutes away from water. So you also saw that they had an extended diamond plate down here to help protect that frame. That's just an extra little nice Jayco thing, kind of like this. Like your quote starter campers don't usually have LED marker and clearance lights. Maybe LED brake lights, but not marker and clearance. And Jayco goes another step further by top sealing all exterior components, just for that extra layer of protection. Um, let me scoot back here real quick. I wanna get a, a, a good look at a best in class feature. And really, it's pretty much an industry best feature. And that is Goodyear Endurance Radial Tires. Because looking at this, you'd have been like, oh, it's one tire and all tires are about the same. Not the case here. They have spent more money on their tires. These uh, are rated for up to 80 PSI and 87 miles per hour. You should never be towing at that speed. The fact is though, that this RV has tires, even here at a quote, starter entry level type camper made for that kind of use. And by the way, right behind that slide out there in a nice shaded little corner with the morning sun blocking it out from us is a full outside hot and cold utility shower to help wash the kids off before they get inside. Um, spare tire is standard on these. Amazingly, spare tires are not standard across the board in the RV industry. Um, kind of like health insurance, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you never need that spare tire, but I sure hope you have it when you need it. It's kind of like cough medicine, you know? Uh, these are ready for backup and observation cameras, and we have Jayco's Magnum Truss Roof System. Let's hit on construction. We'll stop from, start from the top down. Magnum Truss Roof, what is this? Well, they use thicker uh, trusses on J flights. They, well, Jayco across the board, and they use tongue and groove 3 8 plywood roof decking, not OSB roof decking, which uh, corresponds to a greater roof load capacity by about 50% more. These are about 4,500 pound rated roofs. There is the next closest I've ever seen is about 2,800, which is still good, but this is in that way superior category. And we actually had a customer who bought a J flight from us, a bunkhouse like this, and had a big tree fall, bam, right on the top of their rear bunkhouse area. And the kid in the upper bunk got out without a scratch. He was pretty shook up, but he got out without a scratch because the roof held enough that they could actually get it in here and we were able to get it repaired. That's another nice benefit of a constructed trailer instead of a laminated trailer. You can work on it. You can just fix it and rebuild it if you need to. Now, wall studs, 
Uh, we've got uh, 16 inches on center, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood, again, floor decking, not OSB, and 2 by 3 uh, floor studs running every 12 inches on center, longitudinally down the length of the trailer. Very heavy duty construction for a, quote, starter camper like this. And that is, again, the same construction methodology you're going to find through basically almost all of the entire uh, J Flight family. Um, even, well, really not even J-Fly, but up through their, their fifth wheels. Jayco's very consistent on construction, just the materials might change. Now, another thing, I forgot to talk about this when we were looking at the tires. They include a galvanized steel wheel well on these, so that, God forbid, you do have one of those blowouts, you know, because it's, it's, it's not necessarily the tires. We've got better tires, but nothing is impervious to road debris. So if you do catch some road debris, this gives you that little literal silver lining because it's silver colored and it lines the wheel well. You get it. Never mind. Terrible joke. <laughs> the uh, but but to give you a chance to get this thing brought down to speed, basically. So this is the same outside TV quick release mount that we saw inside. It doesn't include two. I'm not trying to perform some tricky camera magic on you. I want to make sure I'm very clear and transparent on that. But just to give you an idea of where it hooks up. And again, it is very sturdy. Now they recently went to a bigger mount because more and more people were like, I want to put a bigger TV out here. You know, I don't want a 19, 22 inch. I want like a 40. Well, there you go. Go nuts, man. And what, what else was I gonna say? Oh, a little quick side mount solar prep plug up here by the tongue. And another thing, you've, you do have full length LED lighting under a power awning. And these are uh, awnings that have speakers built right into them. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the recent update here. The speakers on these were moved from the top of the awning to the bottom. And that makes a lot more sense to me because if the awning's closed and you want to use the speakers, it will project volume locally, not up toward the neighbor's campsite because they don't want to hear your music. Lights and noise. Those are the two most common complaints at any campground. So they're doing their best to help you avoid that. Isn't that nice? I think we got it. I think we got it, guys. Any other questions, give us a call. Don't care where you live, they're on wheels. We only do everything except for hidden fees. We don't do hidden fees at Haylet RV. If you want more explanation of that, we are happy to put anything in black and white. We're happy to explain anything. We live local to where these things are built. We've, uh, we're a local dealer who gets to see them uh, constructed every year. We're, we've walked all the production lines from Millersburg to Elkhart to Goshen to Middlebury to everywhere else in between in the Amish Bermuda Triangle that we call Michiana, the fictitious land where Michigan and Indiana blend. So, if you'd like to take advantage of our services, all we ask for is a fair opportunity in exchange for our efforts and taking the time to educate you here. Don't care where you live, don't care. Uh, we make deals happen all the time. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.